Unless Kratos is dead. Yeah, that, that's a big possibility. Because I, I'm i probably wrong, but I remember seeing some promotional material with an adult Atreus. Yes, I have seen that as well. And the not-so-very-secret ending of God of War 4 has Thor showing up. Yes. To Kratos' house and, you know, brandishing his um, fancy lightning buttfuck hammer. <laughs> the buttfuck hammer. I like so, how people are like Kratos will be able to take on Thor, and I'm like, Thor hit Jormungandr so fucking hard he went back in time. Literally slapped him into a different time zone. <laughs> Like fucking into a different no time way. period. Okay, There's, so here, here he, he literally way. hit him so hard he sent him back to a time where he didn't hit him. That's how hard we're talking. Okay, but here's the question though. So in God of War Four, Kratos brought about Thimble Winter? Is that what it's called? Yes, he has he has started Thimble Winter. Yeah, when he and Atreus, you know, basically killed... Balder, yeah. Balder. Which I, um, after having a conversation with some people, I think Season was there, so I don't know who exactly was there, all I know is that he was. Um, in actual mythology, Loki was the one who gave the mistletoe to Balder somehow, in the it was, actual it mythology. Yes, he gave he made a spear made of mistletoe, gave it to Baldur's blind brother, and told him to throw it at Baldur, because a common game among the Aesir and the Vanir was to throw dangerous objects at Baldur because they couldn't hurt him. Ah. And so his brother was like, Oh yeah, just throw a spear at him, and then he got stabbed, and Loki's like, ha, peak ha. comedy. <laughs> comedy yeah, gold. So I have achieved comedy. So yeah, Loki in both universes was the one that eventually delivered the mistletoe thing that brought about Baldur's demise. Yeah. Even though yeah, the Atreus in the God is... of War version he did it to himself. Because he punched Atreus. So, yeah. I think it was supposed to be because they brought it about prematurely. If the timeline had gone the way it was supposed to, Atreus Loki would have done it, like, later down the line. If everything had gone according to plan, Loki would be among the Aesir gods and would have been a little shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Also, exactly. I love how if you look back at the adventure after realizing that Atreus is Loki, in the back of your mind it's like, I get it now. Yes. Because he makes reference to being able to transform into an animal, right? Yes. Which is something Loki can do. Once he discovers that he's a god and he's all powerful, he starts becoming yeah. a prick. He starts becoming starts... a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Father. Like, just imagine that, like, Atreus gaining knowledge of his future self. Father. Yes, boy. I'm going to be fucked by a horse. What? Um. Because <laughs> that's a thing. Loki, to distract and prevent a giant from building, the giant that built the wall around Asgard, yeah. to distract him and prevent him from Great. finishing on time, because what the giant wanted in return was Freya's hand in marriage, Loki turned into a mare and then, like, had the giant's horse... Fuck him. And that's how Slepnir, the eight-legged horse and, like, personal steed of Odin, was born. <laughs> Which, I gotta say, yeah, there's some, there's some, just... That's the chattest move. That is time in the shit. nine realms is just such a fucking abstract concept. Time doesn't exist. Fuck it's, you. <laughs> yeah, no, fucking, it's just like... You look at how everything is all interconnected and you realize there is not really a chronological way to put it together where it still makes fucking sense. Well, because Kronos doesn't exist anymore. Time is an illusion. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a thing we did. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, killed time. We planted a cosmic toothpick in the forehead of Kronos. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest. It is a little bigger than a toothpick. I mean, to, well, him, to him it was a toothpick. To him it was a toothpick, but still. Mythology also, where can't is be the weird. Blade of Olympus now? That is a good question. I want well, it back. <laughs> I... Did, did we take... Well, I don't know. We stabbed ourselves I know we with it. We stabbed with ourselves us. with it, and it was it left behind when he jumped into the sea? Or I, I did guess. he jump into the sea and then it came out and probably sunk? I don't know. No, okay, so Athena removes the Blade of Olympus from Kratos after he, you know, 
commit yes. seppuku in the most badass way possible. And I don't know if she drops it or leaves it there. I don't know if she takes it Probably with her. Probably just takes it with her. I I would say she probably took it with her because there's the potential for it to become useful again. Whereas if you just get rid of it, there's no chance because it's gone. So. I love how so she just shows she, up. Yeah, either she has it with her or it's still on that mountain. Where Go Kratos, back you know, to Mount Olympus. Go back. Olympus is even still around. Just, just, you know, go back to Greece. You know, no big deal. Yeah. If it's even still there, because Kratos... When Kratos left Greece and Olympus... It, it was dying. Looked like the worst was still to come. <laughs> it was dying. I would love for Kratos because, like, it seems like all the other gods don't exactly like the Norse pantheon anymore. Like, they don't keep in contact with them anymore. I would love for him to go to the Irish gods and be like, "Hey, Kukulain, you want to help me kill Odin?" And Kukulain's like, "Fuck yeah! I just need to finish." Cheers, this mate. I'll drink shot. for that. Fuck yeah, bro. You know what I'd I'll like. I, I would like for all of the different, you know, godly realms to have their own Kratos equivalent. That would be So cool. that you can have a god-slaying dream team. I mean, this is what I think they should do, because, like, there is a god canonically within the, like, Norse pantheon that Thor hates, and that is Ullr, the god of the hunt, because he is Thor's stepson, and he hates him because he is not his actual son. Uller should be an ally to Kratos and Atreus. Hmm. Because Uller hates Thor too. Hmm. Also, and I imagine that oh, sorry. Go on. I imagine I that Thor. with Thor, like with both of his sons dead, he's going to be even more hateful towards Uller. Because Uller's all he has now. <laughs> yep. So Uller can be like, oh, you're going to kill Thor? Let me help you. Oh, uh, you if he is is like if he isn't like a mainstay within, you know, the dream team, at the very least you might be able to uncover an artifact from him that would give you an edge over Thor in some way. Oh, I know exactly what it would be. It would be his bow. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Atreus could get a major upgrade, which would literally be the bow of a god. Yeah. Also, did they ever answer how Kratos went from, you know, having literally destroyed the everything between all his limbs with the Blade of Olympus and drowning in um, wherever he nope. threw himself, how he got from there to, I assume, the shores of the Norse realms? I imagine it's answered somewhere in the tie-in comic, but I have not read it. Because all I know is that he found Faye, yep, the yes. giantess, and you know he found her because of the Leviathan axe. He was interested yep. in the axe, and he tried to take it. So here's a question: Did he specifically sail into the Nine Realms? <laughs> he just but, sailed from Greece this, to Norway. This is, this is like this. This is a legit question because I'm. 99% sure he did arrive by sea, but what yes. could have possibly happened is... Okay, so you remember that one scene in fucking Halo 2, right after you yes. kill Truth and you jump off, and then the grave mine fucking reaches up from the ocean and then takes you to fuck knows where? Yes. I feel like that could have possibly happened to Kratos. He just kind of sank under the ocean and then just sort of out the other side. That could be because and then, and him, then it's possible that Faye actually saved him, and that's why he's, you know, alive. Love you, honey. Well, we know Faye had the cognition to chart out Kratos and Atreus' entire journey. Yes. Which is why all of those climbable walls are painted. Yes. This is my favorite thing, is that Laufey in, like, in the mythology is also, like, credited as being very wise and very, very intelligent. Farbuti, which is actually what he's called on the mural, Kratos is called Farbuti, which is the mm -hmm. name of Loki's father in the mythology, is 
violent, like, violent fucker will rip you apart on a moment's notice, and I'm like, yep, they got him down. Oh my That's god. Kratos. Hmm. So. Interesting. <laughs> they tied it into the actual mythology by saying that Kratos was Farbuti because he was a massive individual who was incredibly violent and was a danger to the gods. Boom. They figured it out. Wow. You know? Huh. But yeah, the God of War team. How he ended up in the, um, in Midgard. Norway? Yeah, Midgard. So, in, so if he sailed there, I'm, lo I'm thinking of all the possibilities. If he sailed to Midgard, he would have to have recovered elsewhere before he met Faye, or perhaps she helped him recover outside of Midgard, knowing that he would go to Midgard and find her, leading to him acquiring the axe. That's possible. Or something could have taken him there, whether it's just, you know, the sea just willing him towards Midgard because some kind of fate-related nonsense. Or maybe even Jormungandr. Save you, Grandfather. I love also, you, Grandfather. Have you guys heard that theory that Kratos is Jormungandr? Yes. Huh. I'm not big... sure I buy it. I don't buy it. I, I, I mean, I would kind of have to hear it in order to see if it makes sense or not, because I hadn't I heard think it's... that one. I think it's mostly based off of, like, the, the iconography of the snake coming out of, like, Kratos in, uh, like, in the little mural that shows him dead in the... Well, no, wasn't it coming out of... Wasn't it coming, it coming out, of, out of Atreus, yeah. So I think that, like, they're thinking that he, like, subsumed his father's essence and then created Jormungandr. I'm like, mm, no, I don't, I don't buy that. I think they're going to go with the same route that he is a legitimate, like, son. Like a, like, direct, dis like, progeny of Atreus... But we still have to see the other two. Until we see the other two, I'm not making any like calls on how all that works. Because we still need to see Fenrir, and we need to see Hell. Ah. What job? Yeah, another... Hey. Yeah, another reason people made the theory is that they attribute it to, like, apparently, if you looked hard enough at Jormungandr, some of the markings on its head were reminiscent of, you know, Kratos' signature red tattoo. That seems like they're stretching it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that does seem kind of like a stretch. Jormungandr is in an episode of DuckTales. Yes! Uh, he's a wrestler. I would <laughs> love to see, like, Susano o Mikoto just <laughs> strolling up into the new God of War game with the fucking Kusanagi on his shoulder. He's like, yeah, just got done killing Orochi. I'm here to kill, I'm here to kill the Norse gods too! <laughs> Amaterasu oh sent me. Imagine Kratos as a fucking slightly Greek themed blood covered samurai. He goes to Japan and all the Japanese gods are like, what the fuck? What are <laughs> you? He goes to Japan and the the fucking the Japanese pantheon is just like, um, build a wall. What the uh, fuck? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know that wall the Chinese built? Yes. Yep. That one. That one? Tola. Tola? Yes. I yes. Thicker. How Extra thick should we make this wall? Thick. Yes. <laughs> as thick as you can make it. And then you push yourself even further beyond. Because hell no. Hell <laughs> no. Okay, so basically what I want you to do is I want you to take all of our neighboring countries, which w there are none because we're a fucking island, but uh, <laughs> I want you to take all of those that don't exist yet and uh, just put them on their sides and just border the country like that. That's, that's, you know, that's probably a thing. <laughs> Kratos is just bumping into the wall, like, face first, and they're like, you're not gonna get anywhere, like, doing that, Kratos, and then you just, he bumps into it, and it just cracks slightly. It's just- I just imagine him just walking through it like paper or some shit. <laughs> yeah, you just hear the stone cracking as he's, like, not even through it down. <laughs> No, 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 they finish building it, and then he's just standing behind them, and he's like, ha, huh, you work hard. This is a good wall. You took too long. <laughs> yeah. Atreus is sitting there with fucking Mjolnir on his hip. 
Oh, um, okay, okay, that question, that question. Uh, Kratos, worthy? In the original mythology, <laughs> it's not a it's not a question about being worthy. It's the fact that Mjolnir is so pants-shittingly, horrifyingly powerful that Thor is the only one who can wield it without instantly disintegrating. Makes about ah, sense. So the question actually is, Kratos could hold? Can you hold oh, it? Probably? And, and even Thor can't hold it by itself. He has to wear a pair of enchanted iron gauntlets and a and belt. belt. Yeah. And the belt. So even oh. Thor can't hold that thing free hand. Not even Odin can hold that thing free hand. Didn't Odin make... Well, didn't Odin enchant the fucking thing? No, it was the dwarves. Because Loki went to the dwarves and was like, Hey guys, I bet you can't make really cool gifts for the gods. And Brock was like, The, the fuck I can't! I'll fucking show you! And they made... Bet, little shit. They made Gungnir, Odin's spear, Mjolnir, and a collapsible boat. And they were like... All the gods were like, yeah, no, these are cool. These are these are the best gifts you've ever made us. These are oh, cool. Also, <laughs> also oh my a god. Boar. Wolf they also made a, something. What did Wolf hate make? Oh, I see it in the chat. The video. Uh, yeah, Vlad, continue. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. They made a pig, a golden pig that produced never-ending bacon. And finally, <laughs> the dwarves were like, okay, time to take your head, Loki. And because he, that's what he bet on the whole thing, he was like, I bet you my head you can't make these great gifts. And then Loki was like, ah, da 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 da, -da. I, I said you could have my head, but I didn't say anything about my neck. <laughs> Never-ending bacon, you, you say. Yes. So the dwarves looked at Loki and went, fair enough. And then grabbed a needle and thread and sewed his lips together. Mm. So okay. yeah, Odin okay. had nothing to do with the creation of Mjolnir. It was just a bunch of dwarves getting pissed at Loki and going, the fuck I can't. Uh, Magical Star, they're talking about God of War. Yeah, God, God of War and dwarves. Yeah, okay, with, we are talking about God of War, but we're also talking about how it compares to the real mythos and theorizing about yeah. what could happen. What the future gonna... is. What's gonna happen? I feel like Kratos probably could hold it if he had if he had the same equipment as Thor. If because he had Thor's Kratos knowledge, yeah. has been stabbed by the fucking Blade of Olympus. Twice! Twice now! Yeah, no, twice. <laughs> and okay. still alive, so I feel like he could probably hold... He could probably hold Mjolnir, at least for a little bit. Are we also gonna... Are we also gonna skim over the fact that he's died at least three times? Death is merely an inconvenience for Kratos. It's yeah. true. It's like it is. if the if the hammer destroys him, like he'll just, just walk through back. a door and say, "I'm gonna try this again." Hold on. He'll just walk out of hell because no, literally, hell would take one look at him and be like, "Like, oh hi, grandpa," and he'd be like, "Wait, what? No, he... who are you?" Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm. Who are you? For for and half a like, second, oh, you didn't... haven't met me yet. It didn't click for half a second. And then Hell's just like, like he's already been oh, to hell. Oh wait, you mean the person? Yeah, it's like he's like, oh, 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 you haven't met me yet. It's fine. I'll let you go. Bye, Grandpa. <laughs> but you he will. He just comes back. He's like, he, he's just like that was weird. And Atreus is like, what? Some half rotted woman called me Granddad. I mean, Ooh. you are pretty old, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> boy. I mean. Oh, is he, if Kratos is in the next game, or, you know, features in the next game, which is really ironic that he wouldn't, is he still going to call Atreus boy? The, that's a good question. Well, it depends. Uh, actually, yeah, no. It, well, it's pretty much right after the first game, so probably. probably. Unless they do, like, a time skip or something. I, well, I mean, you know what I will... was some adult Atreus promo stuff, so... Maybe you know what I will be right after, and then there's a time skip after the beginning. Maybe. Yes, this is what I'll be pissed about if they do to Kratos what they did to Joel in The Last of Us Two. Oh, yeah. They let you have him for one hour, and then like Thor fucking murders him, and then <laughs> it time skips in the most unsatisfying way possible. 
I thought it was only like 16 minutes that you got him or something. You got, you yeah, you got him for 16 minutes screen time, but it's like an hour into the game and he's just done. The, the, the PGA Tour heard around the world. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys want to survive countless fucking zombies and clickers and all kinds of horrible shit done in by a fucking golf club by a fucking nine iron bro <laughs> like when you take Bioshock the shock references aside what the bullshit yeah. this this <laughs> this pitching wedge hit different though <clears throat> anyway i think the post show's gone on long enough yes this has. is why you're supposed to yell for anyways hey you guys want to <laughs> play some golf I've sure. got work in the morning. I should really be in bed. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else? I'm sorry. Solar, flex your superior golf skills on them for me. Do, do you guys really want to experience this again? <laughs> yes. Okay, sure. All right. Well, um, <sighs> anybody who stuck around, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I do hope to finish more Tanglewood. It's a good game so far, but I know that there's going to be a lot of trial and error, so yeah. Um, stay safe. Put on your fucking masks. You know what I mean. Wash your fucking hands. More Stand six feet, a, six feet apart. And most importantly, put on your fucking mask. Yeah, yeah. Just wear the mask when you go to Walmart, people. It ain't that fucking hard. Yeah, this you're there for like, what, 10 or 15 minutes? Guess what? I have to wear the mask for, like, almost six hours when I'm at work. Surgeons have to wear not one, but three masks with the plastic, uh, like the a plastic, plastic shield. shield. And so much shit for almost 20 hours. You had it easy. And this is especially, this is especially going out to all you fucking Karens out there who say, I can't breathe with the mask on. Yes, you can. I, if I could oh, survive in a hundred... Who else couldn't breathe? That, ooh, that's a that's a hot take. I would just put this out there. If I can survive in a hundred and five degree weather in a mascot's costume with no ventilation, you can survive with a fucking cloth mask over your face. Yeah. How the yeah. fuck? Anyways, uh, have a good night, everybody, and uh, have. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, murder. Yeah.